Welcome to the Pearl and Interesting blog. If you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by. I release weekly tutorials about natural makeup that are super easy to understand and I try and keep them relatively short as well. So if you hit that subscribe button, you're gonna get a little notification about all of my weekly tutorials. If at any point you love what I'm talking about, just hit that thumbs up button. That helps YouTube know that you're enjoying my content and pushes it out to a wider audience. And I'd really appreciate that. And it's nice to be nice, so be, be nice. Um, okay, so I listen to all my comments as well. So if you write anything in the comment bar below, I always try and answer every single one. So if you've got any questions or queries about anything I touch on during this video, please pop your comments below. Okay, now that's out of the way, let's get on with it. Today is all about the perfect lipstick application. So I'm gonna show you which bits are good to overline and which bits aren't. I'm gonna talk about products and I'm gonna talk about brushes. So if that sounds like something that you would like to know how to do, then stick around. Let's Let's get straight into that application. So the first thing we need to make sure we have is lovely hydrated lips. So you need to be putting on your lip balm or lip salve when you're doing your eye cream and face cream. And that is to make sure you, the product has fully absorbed by the time we're ready for our lipstick application. If you're putting your lip balm on and going straight in with lipstick, it's gonna cause a few different issues. So the first thing is you might not get the color payoff from the lipstick that you was expecting because obviously you're mixing it with another product and it's really not going to grip to the lip like it should do. The second thing is if you're applying a matte product, you are going to be mixing that in with a shiny product. So you're gonna end up with a shiny lipstick. The third thing is, if you are using a matte lipstick and you have any residue product left on the skin, it's probably not gonna be able to dry down as much as it normally would. So you're not going to get as much longevity out of that product than what you were expecting because it's gonna transfer really quickly because essentially the product is still wet. So I've already put my lip balm on. My lip balm of choice is the Dr. Lip Nipple Cream. It's an amazing product, it has probably a hundred uses. You can use it for cuts and scrapes. You can mix it with pigment and glitter. You can put it on top of your lipstick and it makes it glossy. And obviously it is an amazing lip product. It really does recover and rescue the lips in just a few hours. It is an absolute staple. It's always in my kit. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna make sure I link all these products below for you so you don't have to hunt around trying to find them. So I have chosen my lipstick. I have chosen Roseberry by Bobbi Brown. I've chosen this so it like shows up and also I do like a good pop of colour. So I'm just going to make sure that I've zoomed into my lips now so you can see in, well, you can see in more detail what I'm about to do. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna be using the My Line and Fill brush from My Kitco. And as you can see on the insert, the different parts of the brush actually are made to fit different parts of the lip. So the top curve fits perfectly into that Cupid's bow. The side of the brush will help you draw a perfect line up here. And when we tilt it this way, it fits perfectly in the corner of our mouth as well. So with that in mind, the first bit I'm going to do is I'm going to fill the bottom lip and I'm not going to go anywhere near the edges of my lip. As you can see, you're really able to saturate the lip brush with product. So it's kind of a one swipe and you've got full coverage already. So as you look around the lip when we're doing the line, you will see that obviously you have the pink of your lip. And then if you look really closely, you've got this like halo of white around the lip and that will actually become more obvious the, when we do the lipstick because it will pop out a little bit more. So I'm gonna now turn my brush this way and I'm gonna fill from the corner down. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually just filling the colour of my lip. Okay, I'm going to do the other side. Okay. 
and you can see now here there's a little halo of white the whole way round and if we stretch it out you can see it's just here and we, we are able to filter that without it looking really fake so that's what we're going to do next. can see it just hugs and fits the lips so perfect. And I always just take a break, relax my mouth, look straight ahead and I can see this bit here needs to fill in to match this side. Okay, and if you make any mistakes, this is a brush that I put my concealer on with earlier. It's got a little bit of concealer seal left, and you can use it as a little bit of an eraser. You just make sure you wipe the product that you've gained, and then when you're going for a second swipe, you're not gonna distribute what you've just removed onto your face. So that's the bottom. It's really the top that I want to overline because I've got a very steep drop here and I like to make this look as full as my bottom lip. So the first thing I'm going to do is the cupid's bow because we never ever change the cupid's bow. This is the part of the lip that you do not overline. So I'm going to fill that in. It was this way and I'm going to flip it. And now it's going to fit in this side. Can you now see the white halo is becoming really obvious on the top lip. Now it's got that pink or red, purple. To Again, you can now see that white halo standing out. So you can go to that. So to do this bit, some people find it really awkward to go here and then like take their their look their um, sorry their hand in this direction. If you really struggle with that, tilt your head. Then, if you're doing it this way, you're actually then drawing a straight line. So you tilt your head. And then when I get to this bit, I always turn my brush around and I go up. And we're coming to meet the Cupid's bow. Like I said, any mistakes just get erased. And if you end up with that little line of colour, just feather it down. Okay, in the side. See, that's my natural lip. Mm. 
what you'll notice is everything is small movements. I'm not trying to just do one swift movement. Always make sure you've got these bits done. So if you laugh or anything, you've not got little white bits. And I just keep going, checking it. Sometimes when the lip is closed, you get that tension that you need to be able to pull the brush. If it's open, everything's moving around a little bit too much. You can see it's looking fuller already and the overline isn't massively obvious. Now I'm just packing on colour. So I've got the shape that I'm happy with. And just making sure the pigment is there. And that's it, to make sure I don't get any on my teeth. That would have, that would have gone on the teeth. And now I'll show you a zoom out. And there we go, there we go. There's my really quick and easy lipstick tutorial. Hopefully you learn lots of little tricks along the way, but the most important thing is to remember that my lip shape is not the same as your lip shape. So you need to take these techniques and work them into your own lip shape. So where you need to overline, where you don't need to overline, you might not want to overline at all. You might just want to create those lovely, nice, crisp lines. When you first do overline your lipstick, it can look a little bit strange because you're obviously not used to your lips looking that way. So while we've got the time, just have a little bit of a practice at home. Hopefully you picked up the little tricks like keeping the concealer brush nearby to clean up any mistakes. Don't forget if you do clean up a mistake, wipe it on your hands so the next time you go in you're not wiping the red or whatever colour on this brush back onto the face again. And then if you want to stop it from getting in your teeth and you don't want to put your finger in like that, it is a bit, I have had some dodgy looks in the pub before. You can do it with the little um, knuckle on your finger. It works the same way. And also, if you don't want your lipstick to come off um, on your wine glass, if you lick your glass before and then drink, it stops your lipstick transferring. Also, if you want longevity out of your lipstick, go for a more matte formulation. They do have a little bit more longevity in them, but they are a little bit more drying. So just make sure you really do prep and hydrate those lips beforehand and maybe pop the Dr. Lip in your bag. Because when you put it on top of your lips for a bit of moisture, it's gonna give a lovely gloss to the lip as well as hydrating it. If you liked these tips and tricks and you liked my tutorial, do please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to stick around for next week's tutorial, don't forget to subscribe. If you simply just want to know more, then watch me in this video just here. And I can't wait to see you next time.